Top Gun. Oh, Top Gun going to be fun. I can't wait for Top Gun. I can't wait for that shit. I the reviews wait. are crazy. Really? Yeah. This is going to be like, I think we're going to go to war. <laughs> like, I think the movie could be so good. We're like, yo, Ukraine needs some help, bro. Like, yo, it's time to get busy. Ghost of Kiev, my ass. Let me show you how Americans do this shit. The Ghost of Cruise. Facts. You know Just I mean? get up out there. Yo, let's go. Have you heard some good stuff, Dove? Phenomenal. You got some insider information. Yep. Talk to me. Talk to me. Well, our friend uh, Todd is the agent for the producer and the director, and he's seen it a few times and went down to Big Miramar. Dick Todd. They screened it and they said, this is a movie like making grown men like tear up, but this is what a movie's supposed to be. Yo, she'll see it never with gave the up crew. on Tom Cruise. Never. I love Tom Cruise. Like Always. some of the cool things that they did, like ever since the original Top, uh, Top Gun, they've been using CGI when they're doing cockpit and dogfighting scenes and they found the, with Tom Cruise, they're like, nope, every one of those actors went to flight school. They all, it's like, which one of them was going to throw up that day? Uh, Tom Cruise, like, read all the stories behind it. Like, he puts them through true boot camp, and they all, like, <clears throat> a few of them have now gotten their pilot's license, but they could not do it. And they also had to activate their own cameras within the cockpit. And, like, Cruise would tell them, like, this is the angle that you're going to look best in. And the, even the, the plane that would uh, capture them is called a Cinejet, which is like a fighter jet that would follow them in a dogfight. So it's just no expense spared. Oh, that's like, right. To get the shots of the planes themselves you're going to mm -hmm. need another plane flying along. they have them. like they say the amount of footage they captured in this film for the amount of cameras insane. in the jet outside it's insane what was the budget i'm uh, not sure but i'm sure a couple hundred million at least so that's the thing like as these movies get up in budget they have to be more and more friendly to china because that's the only way they can uh, recoup yeah. that money yeah and i think that's why they did the thing where they like took taiwan off of the off of like the badge of Taiwan, the flag, they took yeah. it off of his leather jacket. Oh, Jesus. He has like a bomber jacket that he wears. Mm -hmm. And in the original one, there's a flag of Taiwan. And in this one, I think they replaced it. Right? Shouts oh, wow. to Sony for not taking the Statue of Liberty out of Spider Man. Oh, no yeah. one we never gave him credit for that. I love that. Good Why for would them. they want the Statue of Liberty out? Son, they don't want anything. Oh, that... it's a sign of freedom. Yeah. That's they also crazy. wanted to look uh, like nondescript, could be a Chinese city. Oh, with all the white people in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. the Chinese will never <laughs> solve that riddle. I mean, it's just yeah. crazy. Like, even Shang-Chi, that's been looks released like every girl in China. In China. Well, this, the Shang-Chi thing, I was talking to, um, I don't want to say who, because I don't want to get them in trouble, but they basically said that uh, it was the magic in it. That China, <laughs> they want, like, one power and one authority. Jesus Christ. And the fact that like they're making magic look real and cool, they're worried that it will like influence their people almost like religion does. Oh, oh this person has magical powers. We should love him and we should believe in him more than we believe in the government. Any type of wish fulfillment like scrapped by him. wish fulfillment. Yes. So then what happens when you have a fucking uh, Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit or something like that? It has to be completely connected to some type of Chinese propaganda. Like the Dumbledore like old movie failed. Is it? Is it pot? Sorry, go. The Dumbledore movie that they like took the gay two lines out of it. Yeah, bombed in China. Really? Absolutely bombed. Like, Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah. I it, thought it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I it really enjoyed it. Bombed there apparently because it doesn't have enough like Chinese characters and Chinese like traditionalism. <coughs> and, like, yeah, they just. Did not do well there. Okay, do you think it's possible that right now in China there are some people having a discussion about how America is so strict with their propaganda and the people there believe everything? And oh yeah, like is it the exact same over here or it's different? I don't think so because there's so much anti-government shit here. I mean, we tried to overthrow an election. That's like, true. Yeah, I guess they don't have that. But at the same time, maybe they see all these like war movies and they're like, and all these war video yeah, games. That. And then in other countries, they're like. Did they not realize that the government is just paying kids so they think that the military's cool? But they also don't know what's happening over here. They don't know that January 6th happened. Or at least a lot of them might not. Oh, know. fuck. Like, if they don't have access to like that. Oh, area. the China's got to tell them, though. Yeah, because it makes you us look Because it makes us... Anything that makes us look bad, yeah. they're definitely spreading. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know what they know about America. Like, the average, like... Chinese citizen. I'm curious what Actually, the haters not, think. They might not tell them that because it's like, look, you can oh, uprise yeah. against your government. Like, yeah, yeah, they, they don't want to give any reason. Yeah, yeah. I'm just curious what the haters think and what the picture the haters paint of us is. Like, because we paint one hell of a picture of China, even though we want the bread. But we're still, anytime they do some fuck shit, we post it. Like, anytime they're trying to not have a movie because there's a gay scene in it, this, that, the other. Yeah. Like, as if we're the most, like, homo-celebratory country in the world. 
Hmm. I mean, we're pretty close. Are we the best? Are we the gayest? Yeah. Is America the gayest country in the I world? Took, I think we took number one spot. More, More than France? Even the straight guys in France are a little... Yo, but are they <laughs> gay, though? <laughs> they're just yeah. French. What? Like, are they pro-gay? <laughs> But they're all, they are gay. No, no, no. <laughs> they're gay by our definition, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, are they pro-gay or... or are they just gay? Yeah, I think they're just gay, but I don't know if they're as pro... Like, I don't think that in French movies, they're like, we need to make sure there's a gay character. Mm. Like, I don't think they're politically correct. I just think they happen to America be America mad gay. progressive. So yeah. I think we're the gayest. Yeah. And racially. We're mad the most trans. Relatively speaking. We're the most trans country in the world, 100%. Gotta be. Okay. Gayest. Oh, Thailand with the trans. Uh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah, 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 fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might have a. Have fuck. On well, apparently, Argentina becomes the country, the world's most transgender friendly country. Friendly? Yeah. They're coming for our spot, bro. I don't know yeah. why or how you even <laughs> judge that, but that's what this article says. As a black person, where else could you live if not America? Canada's pretty cool. But the weather, as a black guy, you don't oh, want that. Okay, you're right. <laughs> like. Let's just be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anywhere in the Caribbean is pretty cool, too. You could do Caribbean. Yeah. You're going to do deal with the fucking Roman blackouts and shit. And like, I mean, me personally, you just yeah, said you. as a black person. No, you like, at, personally as a black person. Yeah, What's nah, a Roman it's, blackout? It's, more, it's, it's too slow. It's like, uh, you know, uh, it's Roman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did he mean a rolling blackout? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. rolling blackout. Roaming. I said roaming. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't let said? him get off of that shit. Fuck, like, what you yeah. Said? yeah, I miss that. Because yeah, in uh, New York, we actually have just electricity. Yeah. All the time, unlike in Los so Angeles, blackouts just roam around. Just yeah, say, yeah, and you don't get it. And yeah, you don't yeah. get it. All right. Okay, so rolling blackout. I apologize. Yeah. Do that for you, Al. Um, internet service potentially shitty. Nah, it would suck just because it's too slow for me personally. Slow, but I think black people can move to the Caribbean and have a very decent life. Better than if you lived in London. Hmm. hmm. Won't make as much. I heard London is wild, racist, so. low key. You were. Like, yeah, like subtly racist, but very much so. Oh, I mean, America is too. So. Yeah. I heard from black people here it was worse when they went to London. Word. Like, I couldn't really. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Shit. I think Jamil told me the opposite. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Rel was telling me it was like. Oh, fuck Rel, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was there the with his brother. What the fuck would he know, bro? I mean, Jamil, Jamil lived black, there. Right? He is black. He's a baby. What the fuck would he know about being black in London, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck would Rel know about that shit, bro? Good point. That's the a new point. Doctor Who, black. What's Doctor Who? It's like their biggest show. <laughs> you never have y'all seen show? this show? Yeah. You've never heard of Doctor Who? Like the James Bond one? <laughs> That's Doctor No. Doctor No. That's Doctor No. <laughs> have you heard of that one? I have. Larry Nasser, I think. <laughs> I, was <gonna> say, <laughs> I was gonna say Bill Cosby. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill Cosby is good too. <laughs> we shouldn't make light of that. Well, if it's Bill Cosby, I think we can. But yeah, if it's Bill Cosby, yeah. Uh, wait, why? He's innocent. Yeah, he's innocent. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Oh. Yeah, no, he's a legally fake speaking. Legally. Legally speaking, he's innocent. Legally speaking. He's yeah. innocent. He's legally. an innocent man. Yeah. He's an absolutely innocent <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Top Gun. <laughs> See it with your friends in a theater. Yo, what if we rent out a theater and we do an asshole army meetup? And... That'd be so oh, fire. Should we do shit. that? Top I Gun? we should. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. do it. Duff, do you know how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Yep. Let's do that. It can't be that much. Yeah. No, we got that. It's the amount that the tickets are. Right? Yeah, we're yeah. we good. But it has to be a nice theater. Proper like. theater. Yeah. yeah. Good sound. Reclining seats, you know what I mean? Come on. We're not the whole to, thing. We're not trying to sit up Let's right Let's do here. it. No, we're going to get and Everyone's got to see number one before you see number two. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Don't be yeah. explaining shit life to your girl. Nostalgic. Like, yeah, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. Also, Shorty got my car at number one, but no big deal. Like. 